you may have heard, if you were, if you've been alive, you've noticed that people are talking about guns. And that's because of specifically most recently, the February 14th shooting at a high school in Florida that left 17 dead. Now, the most recent developments are really two. One that we're gonna talk about right now is that the Florida State House of Representatives was voting on whether to take up two different resolutions. One was whether to start debate over whether they should ban assault weapons. And the other was a resolution on whether to declare pornography a public health hazard. And which one did they vote on? The pornography one. And they didn't even take up the debate on guns in Florida, whether to ban assault weapons. So, I mean, we'll start there, five words or less, what do you think? This is bad. Duh. Bunch of jerk offs. That vote was masturbatory. Right. It's absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. They didn't even vote to take up yeah. the discussion. And why didn't they take up the vote to vote to take up the discussion? Is because they know that then people would have tons of quotes on them equivocating and stepping around whether they support this. There was also a um, a town hall held by uh, CNN where they had Marco Rubio go toe to toe with a kid who said, will you vow not to take money from the NRA? And Marco Rubio said, uh, I'm not taking money from them. They buy into my agenda. It, he amazingly avoided a, a bunch of yes or no questions. Well, yeah, he's a, he's a politician. Sure. I mean, and then he was trained for it. After that, got a ton of praise for showing up. And it's like, that's the state that we're in, like politically, where people are forgetting that politicians have to answer to their and that he's a that public that's actually servant. their job. Yeah. Well, it's, I think it was easy to point out and to uh, like praise him. I, I hesitate to use that word, but to like recognize that he had the guts to show up because the governor Rick Scott uh, is that his name? Rick yes, Scott yeah. did not show up. And Who's running for Senate, by the way? Okay. And um, other politicians that they reach out to, I believe they even reach out to President Trump, mm -hmm. uh, who did not show up. But President Trump did have sort of a listening session with a number of different survivors from other uh, public shootings, school shootings in particular were highlighted uh, at the White House. And I was able to watch some of that as well. But um, what is Marco yeah. Rubio? What should Marco Rubio have done? Answer no. And. Um, we shouldn't cheer people on for doing their jobs. Mm -hmm. it, should, it should be pointed out that the people who did not show up are not doing their jobs, but that he didn't go out of his way, he didn't go above and beyond, that he literally just did one of the basic tenets of his job. Right, just mm -hmm. be there. And we are in such a space where um, we, it's so normal to just not get answers from your politicians, from your elected officials that <laughs> And, and but he answers, did. Go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say, like, he. I agree with you. Like, it, it's so crazy the time that we're in. That's like, oh, good for you for doing your job. But what I really liked about this, and what the Florida lawmakers were doing wrong with it, with uh, not allowing them to debate this, is that at least he went on record saying things that he'd be willing to adjust and change. That's so horse. now, that's horse hockey. But so now we can like we have him on camera no. saying these things, whereas these other lawmakers in Florida just didn't even allow it to go to a debate at all. So they were able to like sort of skate by without having any level of accountability. I like that there is at least some, there is going to be hopefully some accountability on the part of we Rubio. We have everyone on he tape. What Marco, say, Rubio, what Marco Rubio said <laughs> was, you know, I'm now willing to look into high capacity magazines because I learned from this shooting, it could save lives. Where have you been? Yeah. There is nothing new about this shooting. The only difference about this shooting is that there are kids talking about it now. Smart kids who are able to put like a sentence together and maybe, and that might have existed before, but now like we're listening to them. We're able to see them. They're energized. And there's going to be a walkout, a national walkout on the 24th of March is it's being planned. Some have already happened. But the frustrating thing is Marco Rubio said, I'm willing to look into bump stocks, heard it. You said it after everybody said it when when they were were talking about the Vegas shooting and nothing happened because nothing ever happens. And the idea of Marco Rubio not like not saying no to money from the NRA. He's made a calculation. 
He's made a decision. He wants to keep his job first and foremost. And in order to do that, he needs to take money from the NRA and have access to the voters that the NRA has more access to. It's the same thing with Reverend Billy Graham. Billy Graham didn't have like the ear of presidents because he was like a great spiritual advisor to the presidents. He had the ear of the presidents because he had the ear of millions of people who listened to Billy Graham. Right. That's the power of the NRA and people like this. And it's so frustrating. And now we need to keep it going with these kids and the momentum that they're building to get some kind of change. Isn't it, but isn't it even more disheartening and more frustrating that as these kids, right? Mm -hmm. These are, I mean, no one deserves to die at the hand of a gun. Nobody. But these are kids, like these are young adults. And, and I always stand by this that I wish these politicians would think about if that was their child. What if that was your kid? You have, you, have, you have to humanize the situation when you're the powers that be in order to make change. And I, that no one's talking about that. You don't ever hear these politicians talking about that. The secret decoder ring to take all the BS off of it is the NRA just wants to sell more guns. They don't wanna protect your second amendment rights. They don't care about freedoms. They don't give two craps about that. They are a organization that's doing everything in their power to sell more guns. So they'll get behind the things that you saw Trump talk about in that yeah, meeting saying, was, we should arm more guards. And the NRA, I'm sure is gonna be like, yes, you do just that. Said, you know, Wayne LaPierre at CPAC was just saying that the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. So their solutions are always gonna be more, more guns. guns because that's yeah. their organization. And it's not about practicality and it's not about safety. It's about <laughs> about commerce and that's what's so frustrating about it. And they're lying to you if they say otherwise. So it's exactly what you're saying. You cannot ignore the fact that he stood there and said it wouldn't say, I'm yeah. not gonna stop taking money from them.